Forrest back again, welcome. And let's take on the Phil's Idol. This should be an easy fight. Skip the cutscene. Okay, this should be easy. Take that. It's a pretty good solve. I want to go for the heavy attack. And again. Not bad. Take the baby's nail. Okay, now. That's fake. This one's the real one. This one here. Fake. 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 Where's the real one? The way you identify is the one that does not have a health bar when you lock on. That's how you can tell the difference. Another boss bites the dust. Clear a path here. Skip that. Awesome. Quickly get this. This is the Doll Demon Soul. And we return to the Nexus. So that is the first stage of... 3. World 3. Pretty easy stuff. I can get probably one or two levels here. Where's the Maiden in Black? There she is. Okay, let's... I can get one level. Faith all the way. Might be able to squeeze another level out of these. How much is a level? 17,500. I don't have enough for it. That's absolutely fine. Deposit, the Doll Demon Soul. Anything I picked up that I don't use. Put the catalyst away for now. All the armor. Okay, great. Now let's go to 4.2. Because this is the next place I want to do. Actually, I want to finish this world up. Because 4.2 and 4.3 can give you a lot of souls. And it's not the hardest world in the game. But 4.2's boss can be a problem. If you don't have a good strategy. Fortunately, I know how to beat him. I know how to cheese him if I need to. Plus, now I have a bow. I can shoot the um, the enemy that was down here. That kills all the ghosts. And I'm actually going to do that. Don't think I'll do much damage, though. That's not too bad. Probably four shots. I'm not going to go after the, the black, like the, the farming method for pure blade stone because I don't need it. What's my rings right now? Don't need Herculean ring on. Give me the regeneration. Beautiful.
kill that skeleton archer. He kills himself. Perfect. Now the skeleton can't get up here. So you just wait for his attack and then whack him. Very nice. Okay, now this next place is a little bit difficult with these two gold skeletons. Wait, you little smurf. Damn it, now I get messages. <laughs> okay, one should follow and then wait. That's okay, I should be able to whack this guy. Very nice. Backstab all day. Let's do the same with this one. So let's run away from him. Turn when he turns his back, we go in. Pretty good strategy, looks pretty good. Good night. <laughs> That's what we think of him. Okay, through the fog door. This next part I normally use the bow and arrow for. But my aim isn't what it used to be on this game. I think he's a little bit further. There he is. A bit closer. Kill that. Like, those enemies are really nasty on this stage. They do a hell of a lot of damage and they have a hell of a lot of HP. You have to kill them at their source, which is this guy around here. Quickly take the dagger. Try not to get backstabbed by the person behind you, who's invisible for the time being. Through this fog door. If anybody's tried to platinum this game, you're very familiar with this next part because you've normally come from the opposite side when you're doing your pure bladestone farming. Now this requires a great deal of skill. Oh. And a little bit of luck. Okay, that got me some souls, quite a large amount. Should be an item around this corner, called it. Run past this, collect the sticky white stuff even though I'm not going to use it. Run straight, and I fall, no problem. I need to remember how to get out of this place. Take that. Beautiful. Okay, let's try again, shall we? Second time I managed to get through that. Quickly get up here. Sort my menu out. Remove this. Take the sword. Probably gonna have to use the crescent moon grass to give me full health. Get rid of the new moon. So we're just gonna have full moon grass from now on. I'm going to cut the video away before we fight the boss. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.